Positively Muskegon, Andy O'Reilly today down at the Watermark Center. I am here with Boots, who we met, uh, it was a little over a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah. We talked with you about the dog park, which you had a little bit of plant help uh, planning down here, along yeah. with Sarah, who mm -hmm. was here at the Watermark Center as well. Let's um, recap our last visit. We were still using the little GoPro camera and everything back then, weren't we? Mm -hmm. She was looking at me like I was some big nerd standing around this GoPro. She's like, I got a better GoPro than that. And I'm like, well, most people do. But that's where we started. You got the dog park plan thing going. You've got it mm -hmm. rolling now. We just did a story on that the other day. That's got to be pretty exciting to see it coming around. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because you can bring your dog down there? Well... My dog has passed away. Oh last no! Year. Way to start the story, Andy. A big dumb dope, <laughs> right? You gonna get a new dog? No, that's right. You sure? Mm. What? Right. <laughs> you see, you gonna get a new dog? Maybe. Maybe. They're a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But but you know, dogs are great. Mm -hmm. So you should probably you know somewhere down the line, or you can go enjoy other people's dogs. Yeah. And then send them home with them. <laughs> but Boots is one of these kids that doesn't really let up. She's kind of on the go all the time. And you reached out to me to talk about this new blog that you've got going. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I'm really all for is, is, is we're kind of watching things change in Muskegon and watching things evolve like our media, like kind of what we're doing here with Positively Muskegon. I want to get the light on other people that are kind of doing what we're doing as well. And Boots has got a blog going that's kind of directed toward kids and people your age. How old are you again? I'm 10. And You're I'm 10? I'm turning 11 on July 24th. Are you really? Mm -hmm. What's the plan for the party? Something good? We're actually going to one of my friends, um, and Sarah's friend. Her name is Gina, and she owns a farm. Nice. So we're going to go there. Nice. It's not going to be a Wonder Woman birthday this year? No. No? <laughs> Although that movie was good. Wasn't it great? Mm -hmm. I loved it. We went to see it last weekend. I thought it was the greatest thing I ever saw. Mm -hmm. Got a little burned out on superhero movies, but this one was really <laughs> good. So 11 years old. She's got her own blog out. Tell me about this blog. What's it called? Well, it's called Bootsy's Beat. Yep. And the idea behind this is what? What got your mindset on writing your own blog? Well, there were some people complaining. No. There's nothing to do downtown. People in Muskegon complain? Mm hmm You're kidding. So I wanted to prove to them that it's wrong because people who are being negative kind of rub off on other people. Don't they, though? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when you're positive, then we'll have like a positive downtown. You get a cool vibe going on. Yeah. Everybody feels good when you're positive, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're all about. So the idea is is that you're out on the beat and you're covering things that 10, 11, 12, 13 year olds are all going to kind of dig. What are some of the things that you found downtown so far well, that kids are going to like? Um, some kids like to do yoga. I like to do yoga. Do you and, really? Um, actually, tonight I won't be able to be there since I have softball, but um, there's um, yoga on the LST. Really? Mm -hmm. And um, they have that in the summer, usually. Like last year, I did that, yep. and that was super fun seeing. Okay. And um, there's my first blog that I wrote. I wrote all about the things that you could, can do downtown. Like we we woke up super early and we came to downtown. We did yoga, and then we went to get smoothies, and we went to Mikey's Burgers for lunch, which. Hamburger Mikey's is good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said that wrong. That's okay. But, that they are really good. They and are. It's a great price. Yep. So, so there's there's it, downtown's changing. It's evolving, and there are great things for kids to do. And they they're kind of out of the box things for kids to do as well. Like, mm -hmm. you know, what kid th what kid wakes up and thinks about doing yoga? Most of them think about, hey, I got to get on my Xbox. I got to go do this, that, the other thing. You're saying get out and be active and have fun. Yeah. In the community. Especially like the farmers market. Love it. And yeah. What else? Well, there's Kitchen Two Four Two. Yeah. And there is a record store downtown. I know. Third Coast is, Vinyl. Yes. That you play is. records? Mm hmm Really? Mm hmm What's your favorite album? I don't know. There's just so many to choose from. Really? Mm -hmm. I used to have albums when I was a kid like your age, but that's all we had back then. <laughs> I didn't think kids like you knew what an album was. You do, though. Mm hmm Really? Mm hmm No? So for Christmas, I got a record player. Did you really? Mm hmm How awesome is that? That's super awesome. Super awesome. Have you blogged about records yet? No, I not haven't. yet. There's so many things to blog about. It's yeah. kind of hard to choose from. So with this blog, you've talked about some of the things kids like to do. You've talked about some of the cool things downtown. What are some of the favorite blog topics that you've had? Well, I kind of like saying what I do because instead of you know persuasion, per, persuading, persuade. 
persuading others yep. to go like recycle and do stuff like that. You lead by of, example. It's kind of fun to tell what you do. Right. Like, have a day where you just do stuff, and that's really fun to just wake up and be like, you know, today we're going to do all this stuff, you know, be positive, and rather than sleep in and then watch TV and... So you talk about what you do, and you're kind of like leading by example. Yeah. Hey, this is what I did today. Maybe you should try this too. Mm -hmm. Get out and do that kind of stuff. How many blogs have you written so far? Three. Three. Two just came out today. Okay. And one came out in June. June. Mm -hmm. Okay. And are you doing kind of like we do here with the video and all that kind of stuff, or are you just doing the writing part? Right now I'm doing writing because okay. um, videotaping, I don't really have something to videotape on. No. I have my iPad. My brother has a GoPro. Does he? But I don't know if he would share it. How I mean, old is he? He's 14. Oh, yeah, 14. You don't trust those. You know, they're, <laughs> ugh, right? But he's super nice. Is he? So. Okay, when I was 14, I wasn't. I don't think my <laughs> sister liked me all that much when I was 14. <laughs> But as, as time goes on, you, you can bring these things in, and these are elements you can add, and as you continue on with what you're doing, and your blog grows and grows and grows, more people will, will look forward to seeing you do things just like this, and yeah. that's a big deal. It's kind of a lot of fun. Down the line, what are some of the things that you'd like to talk about on your blog? What, what, what interests you that you haven't had a chance to talk about? Well, yet? I haven't had a chance to talk about stuff like, um, I haven't had a chance to talk about, like, I mean, I love animals. Yep. And, I mean, I would like to talk about animals, but it's kind of not a subject that is super interesting. Why not? Because um, most people don't really think about how animals are just like humans, because mm -hmm. we're animals, yep. and most people don't really think about that interesting because they're already so well known, you yep. know? Yep. Like, you see a cat. Oh, you see, like, an accident with an animal on the side of the road. Yep. Oh. But really, they're a lot more meaningful than that. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If, you, if you'd like to do a, a blog on animals, I know this place just up north here. It's called Lewis's Farm Market. Mm -hmm. I bet you I can get you in there. You can blog about any animal you want. That is awesome. You want to do that? Mm -hmm. I'll make it happen. <laughs> just like that. Um, we, if, if animals, so you want to do animals? What else do you want to do? Well, kind of bringing back stuff from like when you were a kid, like records and just fun stuff like that. Yeah. Because now there's all these things like um, like iPads and phones and every kid has a phone now. Like, Don't they though? Yeah. Yeah, we never had that when I was a kid. You know what we got? <laughs> Walkie talkies. They were, yeah. They, did you have those? Um, I don't have them. You don't have those? No. Okay. <laughs> you probably got an iPhone though. No. No? I have an iPad. You do? Mm-hmm. Man. I usually use that to take pictures do because you? I like photography. That's cool. You're like an artisan kid, aren't you? It's pretty cool. So this blog, and, and, and how long do you plan on keeping this going? Forever and ever? Yeah. yeah I think it's much. a cool thing, too, because as you grow and you change and you evolve, you'll be able to share this whole experience that you're going through growing up as a mm -hmm. teenager and then into your young adulthood. And then when I'm a super, like, older adult, then I can look back and be like, when I was a kid, I was pretty cool. And, that, and what you're doing right now is really cool because you're developing your audience at a young age. And what's important about that right now, and you might not know this, but as Muskegon grows and as our community grows, you're going to be one of the people that's going to be one of those young leaders that's saying, hey, what we have is really good and what the future is is really good. Take care of what we've got appreciate what we've got here. You're setting yourself up right now to be one of the future leaders in Muskegon. You, I don't even know if you know that yet. Not really. Not really. <laughs> but this is where it starts. It's telling that message. It's bringing that positivity to things. It's shine, shining a light on people that need to be seen, heard, and talked about when they're not going to find another avenue. So I'm going to keep an eye on you because I think you're going to do important big things mm -hmm. as time goes on. And I want to make sure everybody here on Positively Muskegon knows about Bootsy's blog, Bootsy's Beat, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like a cop's beat. Yeah. You got, the, you got the billy club and the whistle <laughs> and everything, or you leave all that home? No. No? I, I just left that home today. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow I can bring it. Yes. Yeah. You'll be a back out on the beat. Mm -hmm. Perfect. This is a great kid, and I tell you what, the link is going to be right here on Positively Muskegon. Watch our future. Watch us go. We hear it over and over again. And to get the younger generation in and buying into it, you're not gonna, you're not planning on, you know, going away to college and then never coming back again, are you? No. No. See, that's what we need right there. 
Folks, you are one incredible kid. I'm glad to have you back on again. If I can ever help you with your blog, you let me know. If you need an arm twisted, if you need a door knocked down, you need a contact or whoever you need, I'm here to help. And Thank I want to see you grow and do this thing and do it right. So follow that Bootsy's Beat. We'll put the link right here on Positively Muskegon. If you want to watch the future unfold right in front of you, Bootsy's Beat, her blog right here. Thanks for coming on, kid. Thank you, you for inviting me. I'll use that.